Who's ready to rock today, Fire Nation? JLD here, and welcome to episode 1858 of EO Fire, where I chat with entrepreneurs on fire a seven days a week. And everybody is scared of losing Fire Nation, but in my book, I teach you how to finally win. Visit howtofinallywin.com and learn how to create your dream life one step at a time. Now let's chat with today's featured guest, Justin Stenstrom. Justin, are you prepared to ignite? Absolutely, man. I'm excited. Justin's a nationally acclaimed life coach, author, and speaker, and he's the founder of EliteManMagazine.com and the Elite Man Podcast, where he interviews the world's best personal development experts. Justin, take a minute, fill in some gaps from that intro, and give us a little glimpse of your personal life. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So yeah, I basically help guys become the best versions of themselves, whether that's dating advice, confidence, health, fitness, business, that kind of stuff. There's so many day-to-day struggles that guys go through that I think there's not enough, unfortunately, there's not enough quality information for them. So I interview guys, you know, just like you who help other men become the best versions of themselves and literally just have that conversation with guys who can take their life to the next level. What would you say within all that you've accomplished is your singular area of expertise? What's that one thing you specialize in? Man, that's a tough question. But honestly, if I had to choose one bucket, it would have to be dating advice because that's kind of how I got my start and everything sort of branched off from that. What's one thing that we don't know about dating that we probably should? (laughs) <laughs> dating's actually a lot easier than you think it is. And of all the guys I've coached over the years, every single one of them is capable of attracting basically anybody they want. They just have to figure out how to kind of get that to the surface, like how to get the confidence, the inner confidence that they already have, how to bring that out, how to showcase that and showcase who they really are, their personality. So Justin, I kind of want to talk now about your journey as an entrepreneur because you've had the ups, you've had the downs, you've really developed a very unique set of skills in the entrepreneurial world, but what would you consider to date your worst entrepreneurial moment? Take us to that moment. Tell us that story. (laughs) All right. So this is years ago. I actually, thinking back, man, this is probably... I mean, at the time, I thought it was going to be like life changing. I had everything set up. I'd been working on. So this is my first website. It was a dating advice website. I, you know, just figured out that I wanted to do dating coaching. This is about four or five years ago now. Had set everything up, had worked on the website for months on end, hours on end, you know, all those sleepless nights and had (laughs) didn't tell it didn't tell a bunch of people this that I was doing this. But I thought in my mind, it was like the perfect idea. You know, I had this great kind of like, you know, that movie Hitch where uh, Will Smith is the dating coach. That's kind of what I started off doing. And I had this whole concept in my mind of, yeah, I'm just going to you know, launch this blog. I'm going to create this website, have all these cool articles on it. And long story short, man, I had set it all up and launched it and told a bunch of friends on Facebook, announced it on Facebook, uh, told a bunch of family members, cousins, everybody I could talk to the day I launched it that I had this you know, great idea, this great website. And it just completely went nowhere (laughs) for the first like few weeks or even months. There was literally just a handful of people that even checked it out. Nobody cared. And I mean, that was just a a crushing at first, but it really opened my eyes to the fact that you need to build an audience up. You need to really connect with other people. You need to make those relationships before you can actually start, you know, selling things online or, or selling a service. So this is a tale as old as time for entrepreneurs, Fire Nation. I mean, you know, we are behind the scenes. We're crafting and creating this perfect potion of success. And then we launch it and we just can't fathom why not everybody and their mother is just rushing, getting, you know, tearing themselves just to get there and figure out exactly what this awesomeness is that you've created. But Justin, what would you say that you really realize from this failure? Like what was the thing looking back that to you is now so obvious that you just didn't get back then. I mean, you shared the fact that you didn't build up the audience first, but what's that one thing that you would do differently if you could do it all over again? I would have started making connections earlier on. I would have started giving a lot of free value and contributing on other sites, like other blogs I would have guest posted on, Facebook groups. I don't think Facebook groups were really big at the time, but like starting off now, I would have done a ton of guest, um, just posts on, you know, Facebook groups that are in my niche. 
I would have, uh, you know, been on different podcasts like this in my niche as well, where I could make, make those relationships, make those connections, talk to different audiences that at the time I just had no, I like, this is all completely foreign to me, the whole <laughs> entrepreneurial online space, man. So w- when I got into it, it was just like, yeah, I had no idea what I was doing, just throwing stuff against the wall. And, you know, I had genius idea after genius idea that was going to be my next hit, but totally bombed from that point forward. So it was really, I think building that community and, and giving away free content and, and getting on other people's um, blogs or, or podcasts to, to get the message out would have been my initial steps. I mean, Fire Nation, the biggest thing that I can share here is you just have to make it real. You have to press that press that publish button. You have to get that content out there into the world, and you have to ask for that feedback, ask for that you know criticism if it is there, because that's how you're, number one, going to craft your message, hone the actual avatar that you are going to create, and understand you know, where they are going to be and what they want and how they want and what their struggles are. It comes from actually putting your stuff out into the world, not just with one kind of behind the scenes, then grand opening, but just start getting it out there as as you're building this process up because this stuff takes time. Now, Justin, you obviously know better now, and and that's, you know, an aha moment that you've had along your journey, but you've had a lot of ideas in a lot of different areas throughout your life. What's one of the greatest aha moments that you've had to date? Take us to that moment and tell us that story. So launching the podcast that I have now, looking back at it was a complete game changer for me. And, you know, I got to give you some credit and, you know, guys like Pat Flynn, because I'd been listening to you guys for years before that point. And I just remember always hearing things like, you know, the connections you build, the relationships you build, the the guests you get to have on, like you get to pick their brain, John, you know, better than pretty much anybody out there. I mean, this is, <laughs> you know, 1800 episodes right. in, man, you, you've connected with basically everybody out there, you know, the who's who of uh, just incredible experts, but you get to pick their brain, you get to get their knowledge, and you also get to have that relationship, that connection to do, potentially do future business with them, uh, or not, you know, directly do business with them, get exposed to people they know, and, and get introductions to other people you could do business with. I mean, that was just a complete game changer. I remember like, maybe 10 episodes in or so, I had a guy by the name of Aaron Marino on the show. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, he's a, uh, he was on the show Shark Tank way back when, he ended up getting a. He went on actually twice. He ended up getting a deal the second time. Hmm. But I mean, this guy's got a massive following. He's got like millions of subscribers on his YouTube channel, and just the relationship I was able to build with him. Ten episodes in, mind you, like my podcast was still nothing. It was, you know, just a, a dating advice podcast at the time, and. I, I was able to build up a, an incredible relationship, even a friendship now. Spoke at his conference this uh, past year, the uh, StyleCon conference, where there's 300 guys there, all in my niche again, like business, uh, entrepreneurial related, uh, self help kind of stuff for guys. And just connections like that completely changed my business and the way I do things, the way I, I, I uh, take seriously the connections I build online. So the the aha moment, the big game changer for me was actually launching the podcast and getting guests, like big name guests to, to come on and, and, and share their stories and also build connections with them. Now, what was his pitch the second time around on Shark Tank that he got, uh, he got a bite? So the, the first one he had, I think he was selling a program, like a style program for men. It was like two or $300 and they didn't buy it. The second time he actually came with a physical product. I believe it was like a men's skincare, Pete and Pedro, something like that. I forget the exact name, Pete and Pedro's or something along those lines. And it was just, you know, much well more put together. And I think he had all the sharks up there that wanted a piece of him. And, and I forget which one he made a deal with, but he, I mean, he's just crushing it right now. So what's the one thing, Justin, that you want to make sure that our listeners get from that aha moment? What's the one takeaway for Fire Nation? Don't be afraid to reach out to people in your niche, in your space. They may be competitors, they may, or you may think they're competitors, or they may seem like they would never want to work with you, or maybe you're not good enough, you have like that... uh, uh, you know, a belief in your head that you're not good enough for them, or you're just, you know, some little guy and you can't make it. Reach out to them, give give as much value to them as possible. Put it, you know, pitch it in a way that, you know, they're, you're giving them value, you're showcasing them, but make those connections that maybe you haven't made yet or you've been afraid to make. Put yourself out there, connect with other people, build these relationships, build these connections. It's only going to grow your business in the long run. Maybe short term, you can't really notice the effects of it, but long term, it's going to be a complete game changer for you. So your podcast is rocking and rolling. You're growing an audience. You're speaking at conferences. You are rightfully so fired up about a lot of stuff. So beyond what I've already spoken about, 
what are you most excited about today? Honestly, right now, man, I've just myself gotten to the in the physical product space. So I'm about to launch my own supplement line, which goes right hand in hand with the health and fitness kind of theme of the podcast and the whole self help thing. So I have this uh, Elite Life Nutrition is what it's called. Really excited about it. I've studied guys like I, I think you're familiar with uh, Ryan Daniel Moran. Uh, those those guys who are all about the uh, the Amazon FBA and launching physical products on that. So I've been studying these guys for a while. Have my first sort of rendezvous in the in the physical product space, and it's a supplement line, a natural um, cuts out all the additives, the heavy metals, the toxins, all the all the junk, and and a lot of products you see on the store shelves, and just gives you like a, a natural and and what it says on the bottle kind of product is what you get and really excited about it, man. Fired up over the next couple months. That was, that's kind of the big theme of uh, what we're doing. And what's the name of the brand? Elite Life Nutrition. Elite Life Nutrition. So Justin's dropping value bombs left and right, Fire Nation. And we got more coming up in the lightning rounds when we get back from thanking our sponsors. If I'm not on the mic or brainstorming new ideas or listening to audio, then you can find me reading one of my favorite magazines. I love the short snippets and stories and the high quality images that accompany them. And I just found out about an app called Texture that gives you unlimited access to over 200 premium magazines. Texture has leading titles like Time, The Atlantic, The New Yorker, Vanity Fair, and Wired. And right now, you can try Texture for free. Get access to the quality magazines you love without having to carry them around or have them clutter up your home. Just imagine having your favorite magazines and their back issues anytime, anywhere. To start your Texture free trial, visit texture.com slash fire. If you choose to continue, you'll get Texture for just $9.99 a month. That's over 30% off their listed price. There are also great gift options available for the holiday season. Visit texture.com slash fire to start your free trial today. That's texture.com slash fire. Time is one of your most precious resources and finding the perfect hire can result in you having more time to focus on your mission and goals. But what about the time it takes to find that perfect hire? That's why there's Zip Recruiter. With Zip Recruiter, you can post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just one click. Then Zip Recruiter puts its smart matching technology to work, actively notifying qualified candidates about your job within minutes. In fact, that's why Zip Recruiter is different. Unlike other hiring sites, Zip Recruiter doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you, it finds them. No wonder 80% of employers who post on Zip Recruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. Find out today why Zip Recruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. Post your job to Zip Recruiter for free. That's right, free. Just visit ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's Zip ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. And one more time to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. Justin, are you ready to rock the lightning rounds? Absolutely, man. Let's do it. <laughs> what was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? I think the fear of stepping so far out of the norm was definitely holding me back for a while. I actually and this is again four or five years ago when I kind of embarked on the whole entrepreneurial journey. I had originally gotten a job at as a corrections officer for the state of Massachusetts. So, and that's you know totally different than any of this stuff that I do now. But it was like you know my my family wanted me to do it. The benefits were good. the The pay was good to start off. It was a career for the next twenty thirty years that was solid. It was established and respected, of course, by a lot of people. I'd actually gotten the position, tried it out for about a week, realized I was completely miserable and hated it, and it wasn't for me. Um, but the whole, and then in the back of my mind, I wanted to do like the the dating, the confidence thing. I wanted to help other guys because that was my whole journey to overcoming a lot of problems personally. So I always wanted to do something like that, but I was scared initially to step so far out and reject kind of what society had dictated uh, was normal or what my family wanted for me. And at first, it was really a tough decision to make that. But at the end of the day, it was the right decision. And honestly, I think the only decision in the long run where I would be happy. What's the best advice, Justin, you've ever received? 
probably don't follow the crowd as much as, much as uh, even like my father, especially as much as he was initially disappointed with the decision to not become a corrections officer and, and do the, the, you know, the benefits and the, the standard prototypical nine to five job, as much as he had shied away from that at first, at, in the long run, after seeing a lot of the things I've done over the past few years, he's been really happy. And in, from an early age, he actually instilled that, you know, into me, don't follow the crowd, don't do what everybody else is doing. It's a personal habit that contributes to your success. I'm a big fan of self hypnosis, believe it or not, John. Mm. If I'm not sure if you if you're familiar with it no, at all, I'd but, love to hear more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but don't do it to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, self hypnosis allows you to tap into the subconscious part of your mind, which is the part of your mind that controls your feelings, your emotions, your your. Um, ideas like your energy throughout the day. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling, you know, uh, focused, all those things, you can tap into the subconscious mind and, and actually reprogram it almost like a computer. Like you can't just, you know, if you're feeling down, snap your fingers and then all of a sudden you say, you know, I want to be happy and you're happy. It doesn't really work that way, unfortunately, because that's your conscious mind at play. But when you're using a tool like this, that like self hypnosis, you're actually able to sort of uh, let the guard down, so to speak, and and speak to and and reprogram the the beliefs, the feelings, the the emotions you have. So I've actually used this in the past for getting getting over problems like anxiety. I, I had panic attacks that were really bad. Um, but I even still use it now for like a confidence boost. Like if I want to have more confidence before I go on stage, maybe before I do an interview like this, I'll do a 20-minute session of self-hypnosis and I'll virtually reprogram my mind to feeling positive emotions. It's really fascinating how it works. Yeah, I mean, you seem really centered right now. So whatever you're doing is working. And my <laughs> only question is like, how do you induce like what does that process look like so the easiest way to do it and the way i do it is actually just getting like an mp3 it's they're typically online they're like 10 bucks or so you can go anywhere and and get and get one from an established uh hypnotherapist but it's it's about 15 to 20 minutes on average and the induction is probably five minutes or so of that and the induction is simply getting you to a super relaxed state of mind like it's almost a, a meditative state of mind if you've ever done meditation john you'll know exactly kind of that feeling of being just super calm and and relaxed and then also like focused and it's it's comparable to being a, in between a state of sleep and being in, in between a state of consciousness right now like we're talking if you're sleeping, it's not working because your subconscious brain doesn't really function mm. the, the right way for this. And if you're fully alert, it's not going to work. But actually, when you get into this super relaxed state of mind and, and go through the induction, as it's called, when the, the hypnotist is walking you through like getting uh, more and more relaxed, you get right to that kind of sweet spot where your your mind is relaxed and your subconscious mind is kind of activated and able to receive these. And they're, and they're basically like positive affirmations, positive suggestions. And that's kind of all it is. It's just kind of talking you through the the benefits of, of what you want to have. Wow. Cool. Well, I want to learn more about that. And Justin, recommend one internet resource. I'm a big fan of lead pages, which I'm sure a lot of your listeners know about. I've, I've been using lead pages for a long time. Just, you know, the, the, the functionality of it, the, the way it looks, the, you know, easy ability to use it and just kind of uh, as, as a lead magnet, you know, capturing emails and stuff. It's it's done wonders for my business. Recommend one book and share why. I'll have to switch it up and, and, and do something a little different. It's called Get the Life You Want. It's by a guy named Richard Bandler, who I'm not, you know, you might have, may have heard of him over the years. No, He's actually so. the, he's the co-creator of NLP, really fascinating guy. Okay. And NLP, this might interest you as well, because NLP is actually an offshoot of hypnosis. So there's a lot of teachings in hypnosis that are very practical in NLP. And NLP, Neuro Linguistic Program, is a programming is essentially the art of retraining your feelings, your your behaviors, and um, just just kind of your emotions throughout the day. Get, like being able to overcome things again. Like you could use it for confidence. You could use it for getting on stage, for overcoming a phobia, things like that. But using different uh, processes in the mind, and this isn't actually um, putting you like in that hypnotic state of mind. You don't need to do that. You can actually do it like consciously, which is kind of a cool aspect of NLP. But it's essentially um, retraining your subconscious mind to overcome different problems in your life. And again, this can be applied across the board. So the book's called Get the Life You Want, and it's uh, Richard Bandler. 
Justin, let's end today on fire, brother, with you sharing with us a parting piece of guidance, the best way that we can connect with you, and then we'll say bye-bye. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. So, yeah, anyone who's listening now, I'll, I'll, I'll speak to the people who maybe are just starting off or the people who are thinking about taking the plunge into the entrepreneurial journey. If you guys are serious about, you know, having a life where you just love what you do. Like you wake up. I know you're excited every day you get up, John. <laughs> you're fired up. <laughs> just being on the show gets you fired up. I'm fired up every single day because I love what I do. And if you're worried about, you know, what other people think of you or messing up or stepping outside your comfort zone, doing something a little bit differently and taking the path not traveled by by most people, my advice is to do it. Go for it. You only live once. Life is a lot shorter than you think it is. And to not do something you absolutely love every day, I think, is a sin. So go out there and, and, and just get it done. And if you guys have any more questions or if you want to learn more about me, you can uh, check out the Elite Man podcast, of course, or the website Elite Man Magazine. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you have been hanging out with JS and JLD today. So keep <laughs> up the heat. And head over to eofire.com. Type Justin in the search bar. His show notes page will pop up with everything that we've been talking about today. These are the best show notes in the biz. Timestamps, links galore. Of course, check out Justin's podcast and website. A lot of great stuff going on over there. And Justin, thank you for sharing your journey with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks so much, JLD. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Fire Nation. Hope you enjoyed our chat today and it's time. It's time to accomplish your number one goal in 100 days. So visit thefreedomjournal.com. Use promo code podcast as a gift from me to you to get you going on this. And I'll catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Time is one of your most precious resources and finding that perfect hire can result in you having more time to focus on your mission and goals. But what about the time it takes to find that perfect hire? That's why there's Zip Recruiter. Find out today why Zip Recruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. Post your job on Zip Recruiter for free. That's right, free. Just visit ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Imagine having your favorite magazines and their back issues anytime, anywhere. To start your Texture free trial, visit texture.com slash fire. If you choose to continue, you'll get Texture for just $9.99 a month. There are also great gift options available for the holiday season. So visit texture.com slash fire to start your free trial today.